Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Demartini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I want to give a shout out for all of you tuning us in, turning us on. For those of you that weren't with us for the past hour, fasten your seatbelt. We've got something juicy going on for you. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hiya, Pat. How you be? I'm well, thank you. Well, guess what? I love this time of year. It's something magical about it. There's something that goes on, you know, that it's it's actually a little bit difficult to explain. Um, but, you know, for some of us, you know, we understand the magic of it. Today, yeah, we're bringing uh, our friends from the Ascension Foundation back, and Michael in particular, uh, because there are a couple of things that are happening, and I, I just love this. I mean, this has been, for somebody like me, this has been a great time to give birth, and, you know, of course, my birth, my birthday is in December, so I'm a little biased about that. But there's also other things that we give birth to, and we're doing it every day of the year. Uh, most of the time, we don't think of our passion and um, how we come to the world to contribute as giving birth, but it really is. And I hope all of you out there are taking time to celebrate, you know, what it means to truly step forward. You know, sometimes you step forward in a gigundo way and you do amazing things just like what we talked to Rhonda about. But other times, you know, it's 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 maybe you decide to go to school. I mean, maybe you decide that, you know, you want to do something special in your life and you want to do something important. Uh, and that's all relative to me. I thought selling hot dogs was the best thing that I could have done until I got my fish cleaning job. And so there were moments in my life where I looked at, you know, the joy that we can bring in every days of our lives, someone else we can touch, someone else that we can help heal. And so today it's about sprinkle spiritual sparkle on your holiday season with renowned transphysical media. Michael joining us here today. Melanie's also here. Sam's also here. And we're going to talk about what this is. We may have time to take a call for those of you that want to connect. Um, but today it's about giving birth what that means welcome to all of you welcome to the show thank, thank you, you dr thank you. pat Good morning. uh last time you all were on it was an amazing show we took as many calls as we possibly could thank you michael for being so generous with your time uh, to connect no with problem. the masters <laughs> um I want to start out by talking about the spiritual side and connection in conjunction to this upcoming event. Um, and then we'll talk in more detail. Giving birth is what you are uh, embarking uh, upon, Melanie, right? Absolutely. Uh, tell everybody about the Ascension Foundation and what you're planning for this upcoming weekend, of course. We're, we're really excited to be bringing this opportunity forth. The Masters have asked us on their behalf to share this exciting opportunity for the holiday. Days. And Michael is graciously uh, the channel for the Masters. Uh, he is a transphysical phenomenon medium, which that means is that he will be in trance in a seance situation for the evening event. And the Masters will come through three Masters, particular Master Jesus, Katumi, and Master Saint Germain. And they will materialize and do hands-on healing for some lucky folks in the audience at that event. It's very exciting. And if that isn't enough, which will blow you away. It's just so wonderful. It's the healing event. And it's not only healing for the people who are getting worked on, but it's healing for everyone in the room as well. You will not want to miss this. In addition, Michael will be doing a few apports. We've been told by the masters. So that's kind of in a nutshell what's going to be happening. And we would love for all of you to join us. Well, let's tell everybody about the day and how it's going to roll out. 
uh, and where the event is. For, for people that are not in the greater Seattle area, um, you can look forward to Michael uh, doing some traveling in the next year. And uh, certainly you can schedule an event in, in your town wherever you live. But tell folks about how the day will unfold because there's part one and part two, so to speak, and they're both fun. The first part is all free. Yes, it is. And the first part is from 10 to 5. And it's a series of wonderful, exciting, interesting, um, intriguing, provocative of workshops. They, they span from the power of the mind, mental mediumship, integrated energy therapy, a lot of healing um, workshops, beginning psychic development, mediumship classes, crystal light therapy, energy, diamond heart energy, alchemy, billets and psychometry, cr uh, crystal skull uh, workshops, indigo children, Living Energy Templates, Sketches from Spirit, Activating the Natural Healer Within, Ascended Master Study. All of these are open to the public and free, so please come by and join us for a seat in the audience and just hang out. And tell everybody where this is going to be held. This is going to be held at the Ascension to Light Center at 12. 22 South Weller Street. That's Seattle 98144. It's just right outside the International District. So, you know, this is a full day event and then there is an evening event. And let's talk about these. Also, for those of you out there, um, we're going to give you a way for you to schedule your, you know, a session with Michael. Uh, you know, I, I will tell you that he has done sessions with some of the top people in the field of human potential. People call him and, you know, right now what we're looking at is making sure that if you want to do this kind of thing for the holidays that we've got something planned for everybody um so there'll be time to do that but let's talk about the nighttime event if we could michael from your perspective this is really special isn't it it is an opportunity to bring forth the ascended masters from the Shem shambhala retreat in the himalayan mountains uh, just just a, an amazing opportunity. There's a, a three or four of the masters are going to materialize through the ectoplasm energy to do hands-on healing on individuals up to seven people in the room and also create a, a combined energy around the room for everyone else to also be part of that energy. Mm. And that's the evening seance piece, which folks have to register for because it is limited seating. Yes. I know that uh, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to attending it. Wow. Um, and, um, and so folks can do that very simply. Is there a, a website, a phone number? What's the best play, a, a way for people to do that, given that, you know, we're, this is kind of right around the corner. It's this right. Saturday, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So you, you got to get on your giddy up here. So you can go <laughs> to www.theascensionfoundation.com, click on events. There's a PayPal link, and you can sign up right there. Uh, and that's for the evening event. That's for the and, evening event. Uh, yep. And I would imagine that the full-time event is also going to draw some people uh, uh, to that event as well. Um, what's a phone number in case people have questions? Well, immediately, you can call the 1-800 number at 1-800-508-6437. One more time. That's one 800 508 Six four three seven. Well, what we'd like to do today is we do have time. If uh, you, those of you out there, we do have time to get maybe one or two readings in. Michael, uh, last time he was on, was able to connect with so many of you, and I know that uh, you all have been asking us. So we're going to open up the phone lines, and yeah, we will do that. Uh, given that this is a, a brief show, uh, we'll probably be able to take one or two people. So if you are wanting to connect with the master right here live on air you uh best way to do that is to give our 1-800 number a call right into the show brian will take your call and put you in the queue 1-800-930-2819 that's 1-800-930-2819 and we actually have a giveaway so let's tell folks what we're going to give away. Well, we'd like to give away two tickets, you know, one immediately and one just a little bit later around the corner. And it is a ticket to attend this Saturday night's 
event. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so it's the uh, ticket for the Visit with the Masters, right? The Healings event. The it's Healings a, it's event. A, it's definitely a, a, a visitation. It's a showstopper, so okay. you want to be on board. So we have two tickets to give away, and also if you'd like an on-air reading with Michael and the Masters, you can do that. Phone lines are open right now. 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, this experience, Michael. You've been, in to, you've been to Hawaii, you've been other places, um, and this is a big yes that you've said in your life. What excites you most about this? I mean, what is pulling you forward? The people. Mm. The opportunity to meet all the different people, the different cultures, mm -hmm. uh, the, the beautiful of the individuals, their vibration. Uh, they're just wonderful to have that opportunity to, to meet them. And then I would say number two reason is just being able to, to commune with the Ascended Masters, you know, to be part of that vibration. And then you put the vibration to the people and with that vibration and there, there's no way to lose. It's just healing, it's knowledgeable, it's love. Now, for folks, uh, clearly the phone. Hey, everybody out there, just be patient with us. I, I have to tell you, all the phones lit up at one time, so Brian is going to get everybody. Just give us a second, okay? We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about apportation, what it is, for people who have never heard the term before, uh, and also some of the things that you've been able to experience in Hawaii, how this works, just so folks have a sense of what to expect for Saturday uh, evening. Uh, Michael, Melanie, Sam, everybody here, we're going to take a short break when we come back we're going to take your calls we're giving away tickets and we will connect you with michael and the master stay tuned we'll be right back The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community. The Ascended Masters invite you to join them in co-creating this mission. Allow the Masters to lead the way in activating the wisdom of your heart consciousness and raising your vibration. You can communicate with them directly by attending apportation events and classes in mediumship, crystal light energy healing, alchemy, master studies, past life regression, and more. For a schedule of classes, workshops, and special events, visit theascensionfoundation.com. That's theascensionfoundation.com. The root cause of disease is not what you think. Doctors are treating the symptoms, not the root cause, because they haven't been trained to do so. Dr. Alex Lloyd has developed a simple technique that has saved thousands of people from lives of frustrating and debilitating illnesses. This technique has been featured on national broadcast and cable television in People, Time, and USA Today. If you are ready to heal and tired of being treated, visit DrAlexHealingCodes.com, where you will find free, life-changing information. We are living in a time of great challenges and greater opportunity for transformation. The good news is that public awareness of the need for change is also growing exponentially. More than ever, your transformative message is needed to empower millions across the globe. Hi, I'm Dr. Pat, host of the Dr. Pat Show, and I'm excited about announcing an unprecedented opportunity for growth as we expand our broadcast by launching Transformation Talk Radio and the Transformation Network. Join me and a team of amazing people and host your own show on Transformation Talk Radio. Get ready to expand your horizons, tap into the best listeners anywhere, and join one of the most positive and expansive networks today. Historically, there came a time when the boundary of water was transcended as man developed the boat, and the barriers of water became freeways. Join Dr. Pat as she launches this exciting venture. To host a show, call 1-800-930-2819 or email host at transformationtalkradio.com. Um, what if your best friend could take a peek into the future? Psychic, author, and cosmic coach Dougal Fraser is that friend. He's the queer guy with a third eye. From gossip to gurus, meditation to martinis, The Dougal Fraser Show is a call-in advice show that provides insights and information on creating your best life. A every Tuesday at 10, he'll take calls and talk about love, money, sex, pop culture, and give free advice. No topic is off limits. It's The Dougal Fraser Show. 
The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community, presents healing, a spiritual event, Saturday, December 3rd, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. in Seattle. The event features free mediumship and energy healing demos, lectures in crystal light therapy, alchemy, meditation, psychometry, and psychic art drawing with the masters. At 6 p.m., the doors open for a rare opportunity to experience hands-on healing by the Ascended Masters. To register for this evening's seance, go to theascensionfoundation.com. That's theascensionfoundation.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. Uh, this is Talk Radio to Thrive by Mom Michaels joining us here today. I want to make sure that all of you know to go to the ascensionfoundation.com. That's the website. And we're going to do a reading with Melissa in a minute. But I want to just tell you, we do have one more ticket left. All those phone lines will lit up. And I got to tell you, we can only get to one of them at a time. And so please call back if you would love a ticket for the evening event, which begins at 5 with hors d'oeuvres. And then 6 o'clock, the doors open for the sa- for the healings and evening seance, hands-on healing. We went by the Ascended Masters. Uh, we would love to give that other ticket away. 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. Um, and the, the daytime part of this is free. So you get to come in, you get to do workshops. I can't believe it's free, actually. You get to come in, 10 o'clock is the Power Mind, 1030 Integrative Energy Therapy. If you go to the Ascended, um, the AscensionFoundation.com and you go to events, they got like a flyer there. It explains everything to you, when crystal light therapy is going to happen, you know, sketches from spirit we're going to talk about here uh, right after we get to Melissa. And we're going to talk about apportation. Maybe Michael can mention it when he's talking with Melissa Benny, let's go to phones. Hey, Melissa, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Hey, how can we help you today, Michael? Oh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, thank you for taking my call. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, what would be your question for the, the Masters? I have St. Germain here with me. Oh, um, just, you know, I guess where I'm headed, I mean... I just, I kind of feel like I'm wanting to move forward into, I just don't know where, whether it's going to be school, whether I'm going to be moving, whether I'm going to be meeting somebody. I just feel like, like I'm, I don't know. Well, what he's telling me is you have to connect to organization relative to your life, what's best for you. And he's saying that, and his, this is a suggestion, he's not telling you what to do, uh, to focus on education, on, on re, re, going back to school, um, focus on the job, what you want to do for the remainder of your life, and in there, there will also be a connection to um, an individual to be with you during your life as well. Um, 2012 for you is going to be uh, a complete 180 degree change. Uh, on the positive, uh, and that change specifically is uh, you're going to find out what it is that you really want to do with your life. You're going to realize that probably uh, through the course of the remainder of this year, and then you'll be heading into that in 2012. Okay, perfect. So, um... That's funny because I'm starting school in the winter quarter. Okay, okay, and it will go well, he says. You're going to be happy with it. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks for joining us here today. Um, you know, I, I, I want to talk more about what just happened here as well as uh, what will unfold um, at the uh, 5 to 10 p.m. event uh, you know, this I, I'm definitely going to attend. So, Yay. you know, I'm kind of curious for myself <laughs> what's going to what's going to happen here. Uh, so let's talk about that and let's tell folks what apportation means and then also what you've brought today. Well, today I I apported this 127 carat 
uh, ruby. Um, very beautiful. It's a emerald cut ruby. Uh, what's important is is not necessarily what the object is itself. It's the energy that's in it. You can hold it. You can feel it. Uh, it's healing. There's knowledge in it. It helps activate your cellular memory so you can remember things relative to past and or even future situations in mm -hmm. your life. Um, what happens with these apports are the masters will gather these objects, whether from people that have lost them or just laying around, or sometimes they'll just bring things that that uh, are created through a process called alchemy um, when St. Germain creates certain things with that process. Uh, they create a vortex with their heart energies, which is a silver energy that opens up that they pass these objects through by changing the molecular structure of the object into its natural form, which is energy. And they put that through their heart intent, that energy through the vortex, and then it comes through, which in my case is through my physical body, um, fluidy as it comes out, but then it um, starts to get solid, and then they, they come through. And these objects are from your guides, your master teachers, your angel guides, um, and they use the minerals because they're able to sustain the vibration of energy such as healing, and he a healing energy. Mm. And, you know, for people... Um He's up for me right now. Mm. <sighs> I guess we have an application live. There we go. <coughs> it does happen. <laughs> I think, Melanie, you should explain what just happened here on the show. Well, we just had a live uh, on-air apportation by Michael. Uh, the master saw fit to bring through an apportation, either for healing, knowledge, encouragement, a gratitude. And uh, Michael just went into a state. He went into a semi-trans state, and this came through a vortex under his tongue. His teeth move apart, and the vortex opens, and this becomes materialized, which he was just explaining to all of you. And now we have this beautiful gemstone that he will explain the meaning of, the significance and the meaning of. Go ahead, Michael. Are you are you? Better? You okay, Michael? You need a few minutes? Okay, he needs a little bit of time to recover. It's okay. pretty tough on your body, well, as you can imagine. Uh, well, I'm holding it in my hand. Uh, you know, have you seen it, Penny? Well, I panicked because there was dead air. I panicked and, too. and so I, I, for I, me to I, witness this was amazing in itself. Well, this is cool. I mean, you got to describe it. I mean, it's already. Check that out, Benny. Truly Live amazing. Live on air. I just want to tell everybody, this happened right here in the studio live. I don't know if the cameras were working, but boy, I'll tell you, Benny, you got to... Uh, now, I've got, I've honey, got, this beautiful. has been a first for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know that this has been a first for you. back a little bit, too. Brian in the room had to stand up. Brian, and he dude, was wondering what was going on. Yeah, grab them. Did you get it, Brian? Huh? Hang on, we got to turn on that. Okay, Sam, Sam describe here, what think, happened I, here I for really a moment. I really have a feeling this uh, uh, ruby from uh, uh, Master Jesus. Uh -huh. um, is that what it is? Is it a ruby? Uh-huh. It's, yes. um, it's an amazing sacred object. This happens a lot when we're in Maui. Uh, but not a lot, a couple of occasions, actually. And every time it happens, just, it just blows my mind away. These are sacred objects from the Ascended Masters, imbued with healing energies, with love. And they create healings in your life if you allow it. And every time I see it, I'm always just fascinated. You want to hold it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How are you feeling, Michael? Oh. I don't know if we're going to be able to hear from Michael. I know if this happened to me, I would, you wouldn't be hearing yeah. from me. It's pretty tough on your body. What does this mean? Let's talk about the meaning of this. Because there are many things that come forth. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've heard about some of them, but each of them come with a message, I Absolutely. believe. Absolutely, they do. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this <clears throat> is not just about a material thing. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's about the message, the healing, the manifestation, what it means. And for those of you 
that were not in the studio or could not see this, all you need to do is call Benny and ask him. <laughs> or Brian. Well, I was going to bring Brian, Brian on, too. He's new to the show. He's, he's experiencing this uh, himself. Too. The gemstone I have in my hand is about, I'd say, a half an inch long uh, and maybe a little less than that wide. Um, it is, uh, it's beveled, of course. It's a fabulous cut. It's kind of, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's actually go isn't it it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Huh? Yeah. Very clear. It's, it is very clear, Sam. Um, and Abport means that this manifested in Michael's body. Under his tongue. It just came on the, came out the from vortex under from under his tongue. Usually this vortex goes from under his tongue all the way to Shambhala in the Himalayas. <clears throat> he can talk now. He's kind of recovered, and so he can explain it to us. Wow, Michael. Mm -hmm. And they come out dry, too. How did that happen? I don't even understand that. Because That did come out dry. It's mm -hmm. uh, the vortex. I mean, we all saw it come out of your mouth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, 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 I was <laughs> like a deer in headlights. I didn't know what to, to do. <laughs> I know. I was like with Benny. It's uh, like <laughs> Well what it's what I'm being told is this is that it, this Sam was right. It is from Master Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, it has sacred energies in it, um, of healing, of connecting to 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 love, relationship. Uh it also uh it has an energy of luck within it. Mm. Um, and I'm being told that uh, I'm not sure what the process is to this to the to your show, but this is to be given to uh, a caller, and the caller will be uh, kind of directed through spirit to call, wow. and they will receive this gift as a giving gift for their uh, Christmas vibration um and to help them in their life mm -hmm. so i um give this to you for whoever gets it and you can do you guys mail them um can they come to the station and pick it up uh, you know i i think <laughs> i'm gonna have to like go within to figure that part out <laughs> You know what I'm or saying? Or hit up Chris Kringle. He should be um, around shortly. I mean, I, the I, suggestion from St. Germain was to, <laughs> to have the person come in, and I'll give him a live reading on the air the next time I come in. To That's my sense of it. That's really my sense of it, to do something for next time mm -hmm. that you're on. Because it's have a ceremony. Here. It is a ceremony. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to say. It's not just about a gemstone. That right. shows up. No. It's a it, sacred object. It's a, it's a, this is actually a sacred object and a ritual. Mm -hmm. And I actually would like to, to handle this as sacred space on the radio. Great. For the next time that you do come in. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we all know this is what happened here, and I certainly will take a picture in a few minutes. Um, the other thing that I, I wanted to mention before we, we, before we end um, is also you also brought... Um, you also brought a sketch, Melanie. You want to talk about this yes. for a minute or Michael? Also, Michael does with uh, an illustrator of psychic art. So he will sit down with the illustrator and a person mm. and describe who their guides, angels, um, master is around them. And the illustrator will draw what that's like. And they're very connected and in tune intuitively. And it's very popular and it's a wonderful gift during Christmas time. So you've just got to come and see it. And, um, you know, we brought one down here. Um, so Is this going to happen at the event? Well, the workshop will discuss it, and then people can sign up for time slots at another date where that will happen. If I may add that, it's pretty important for those on the spiritual path, especially doing meditation, to establish that connection with their master teacher, their guide, by them actually seeing a physical, an actual physical of them, so they can merge kind of and wrap their consciousness with actually, their meditation. Actually, that works for me. I'm such a visual Yep. Anyway, well, thank you all. Again, let's give out the website and let's uh, um, let's make sure everybody knows. I mean, the other thing I want to say is that this here um, uh, 
the schedule of events. Is this timetable correct? Yes, that okay, is. Okay, what I want to say to everybody is that my friend and colleague Donna Sebo is kicking this off. Um, and for those of you, don't wait to get there at 10 o'clock. If I were you, I'd get there a bit early. I get there at 9.30, 9.45. Donna's going to do an invocation. And then at 10, between 10 and 10.30, um, she's doing Power Mind. What I want to say about this is this is jam packed and and it's a half hour and it goes 10 to 10 30 10 30 of the to the 11 integrative energy ther therapy 11 to 11, 11 30 ascended master study 11 30 to 12 beginning psychic development 12 to 12 30 media i mean I, every there's something every half hour you are going to be and these are all free up until 5 o'clock, ending at uh, 4.30 to 5, Alchemy, which is actually one of my favorite. So please go to the ascensionfoundation.com. Uh, make sure that you check out what's available. This stuff is free. If you want to do the seance, um, which starts at 5 with hors d'oeuvres and goes through 9 o'clock at night, then all you have to do is buy the ticket. It's $45 and... Uh, I'm speechless, <laughs> I think. Perfect. Welcome to our amazing. world. to say about that. I don't know, Benny, this is a first for us, honey. I'm already typing to Brian so we can grab the clip from it. I am, I'm working on it. I am at, did you actually get it on camera? Uh, we're double checking on that, too. Apportations. Oh, okay. I wanted to add on these psychic uh, art pictures. Yeah. That during the, um, the picture... The individual that helps me, her name is Susan. She's the one that does the art. She takes the information that's given to her, and she let, and she has me be quiet for a few moments so she can focus on it. During that time, I'm actually giving a reading to the individual that's receiving the picture, um, and the message is given to me by the person that's being drawn. Mm -hmm. So they get a reading and a picture during that process. Susan, okay, wow. Amazing. Are you are you all going to do any of that on Saturday or We're going to do one okay. 15 minute during uh, the class perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Great. All oh, that would be so amazing. Can I make one more uh, Absolutely. announcement? Absolutely. Go ahead. Also, we are having Since a hosting I'm pretty speechless. We're hosting a meetup <laughs> called the Cosmic Cafe starting Monday, December 5th at the center and it is open to the public. Uh, you can sign up on meetup.com and type in Cosmic Cafe. The first hour is a law of attraction information. The second hour is all of our workshop presenters and our instructors will, will rotate in and give everybody a little sampling of their future classes. So feel free to join that as well. Well, thank you guys for joining me here today. Thank um, you. Looking you forward are so to welcome. it. Uh, go to the ascensionfoundation.com. Go to the events section. And right there, there is a flyer you can click on. And you can get, like, the entire details of this. I will tell you right now, um, the seance on the evening event is limited seating. So please don't wait to sign up for this. Um, you know, they, there's only so many folks can participate in this, given the sacred nature of the sacred space of this and the preparation. There's enormous preparation for this. You're not just going to walk into a big conference room or cafeteria or whatever you think you're going to walk into. Um, so it's going to be an amazing time. The Ascension uh, Foundation .com. The Ascension into Light Foundation Center is at 1222 South Weller Street, Seattle, Washington, 98144. Uh, give a shout at 206-356-6356. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll uh, be right back with the Dr. Pat Show. The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community, presents healing. A spiritual event, Saturday, December 3rd, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. in Seattle. The event features free mediumship and energy healing demos, lectures in crystal light therapy, alchemy, meditation, psychometry, and psychic art drawing with the masters. At 6 p.m., the doors open for a rare opportunity to experience hands-on healing by the Ascended Masters. To register for this evening's seance, go to theascensionfoundation.com. That's theascensionfoundation.com. 
Radio.com. Internationally known, profound, intuitive, Carrie O'Connor joins the Transformation Talk Radio Network on Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Carrie has the unique ability to tap into your energy field where she can communicate to deceased loved ones or tell you where you're blocking money, tell you about relationships, health, and other topics. She truly is an example that all answers are within. Call into the show and get your free reading or go to her website at kerryoconnor.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Lucinda Messer. Are you having problems with raising your vitamin D levels? Well, you're not alone. Here are the top three reasons why it's difficult to raise them. Number one, you may not be taking enough for your weight. Most people require 1,000 units per 25 pounds of body weight. Number two, you may not be taking it with the proper kind of food. And number three, you may be experiencing what they call vitamin D resistance. To learn more about this, visit my website, PowerfulD.com. That's PowerfulD.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. I just made the most amazing discovery. What's that? I've been searching for a way to save time in the kitchen and not sacrifice Larry's and my health. I finally found it. I ordered these amazingly delicious, quick, healthy meals online called Eastern Essence. Once I tried them, I realized why I hadn't found a solution till now. There's simply nothing like them in the grocery store. Wow, I didn't think it was possible to have a packaged food that's truly healthy. I know, but Eastern Essence is made with a special process that leaves 95% of the nutritional content there. Other organic convenience foods can't even come close to being this delicious and nutritious. That is amazing. They take less than 20 minutes to prepare, and Larry loves them. He's gazing at me the way he did when I used to cook everything from scratch. I think Eastern Essence is the way to a man's heart. (laughs) Eastern Essence, delicious organic Indian meals. Go to easternessence.com to order today. everyone uh welcome back to the dr pat show this is talk radio to thrive by uh michael is continuing on with us here for a little bit because i think we do have to chat about this a little bit more uh (laughs) benny and um uh benny and brian uh believe that we had the camera up i don't know if we're going to be able to retrieve any of the clips from it but i think benny was going to try to see about that um for those of you that were watching on camera, you got to see that and experience a first hand what apportation is about. I want to spend a few minutes and I want to talk a little bit more, Michael, about what just came through and what the master said to you about it and then what we're going to do with that next time you're on. Uh, Sam, you saw what was going on <laughs> like immediately. I'm used to I this. Mean, you got, <laughs> I, I actually can't even talk. I have like a thing in my throat. <clears throat> but you I, I actually can't talk so why don't you go ahead <laughs> well you know it's it's always fascinates me just to be connected with michael and be connected with the ascended masters count saint germain always says truth is stranger than fiction and there was an example today about science about love about knowledge about what the masters could do and the master what what could the masters do to change our lives so Oh, I, I'm speechless. I mean, they're I've been, always I'm, around I'm getting, us. I'm getting text messages right now from mm-hmm. my friends. They're like, oh, my God. You know, they're, they're just. The masters are always around us. <laughs> and right now, so it's how observant you are about how open you are to their vibration in your everyday life. <laughs> so what's going on with my throat? You're connecting to the energy that came from my area of the body. Um a little bit of your own ectoplasm started to wow. spread around. You'll, you'll be fine. You'll be huh? fine. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> I'm just part of the speechless thing. So, mm. now that I'm a little bit more back, 
the message is is, is that uh, someone would call in, like, you know, within the next minute or okay. so. And that person will be directed in their heart to call the show, and they would be the one that would receive that gemstone. Wow. Okay. And all they would have to do is um, come here and pick it up, and I will make a uh, an offering to give them a reading uh, in at, the studio. At, at, in the studio. Yeah. So two things are happening. And um, do we know the next interview? Do we know the next time Michael's going we to don't. be here? Okay. We don't. That okay. hasn't been established yet. Okay. But, Michael, one of the things that might be important is tell people how that app port is connected with the etheric cord to a specific person. Mm -hmm. Just like the other app ports, when they come through, that they're meant, they connect mm -hmm. to the heart vibration and the heart energy. So would you please tell them, it's not just anybody who calls in, it's the right person that that app port is meant for would you please elaborate on that well everything is energy <clears throat> uh we're energy the windows are energy the clouds are energy everything is energy and when there's a vibration that has an intent attached to it by another form of energy like a, an ascended being can charge an object with a vibration and energy for a specific spirit or soul once that intent is created there is an etheric cord. It's like a beam of light that's constantly in motion that keeps going back and forth towards the individuals to, to their heart. So at some level, you can see the energy. Like, for instance, I can see the energy coming out of the bag going out the window, okay? And it's heading towards Seattle, mm -hmm. okay? So someone will feel that in their heart and have this uncontrollable urge to call you, Dr. Pat. Um, right and, now? Yeah. Uh, and they would, be, the first one that calls through will be the one that the masters are directing to call. That's the one that will come through. This okay. isn't by chance. Okay. So what I want to say to those of you out there, uh, we're going to give you an opportunity to do that, and it will be the first caller. And um, in order to receive this, you will... The next time that Michael is here, we don't have a date for that. You have to be available to come into the studio to receive it along with, um, along with the reading. Signing. I don't need the phone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they blowing first up? First caller, Brian. First caller. Okay. So uh, Brian's going to take the first caller. We're going to get your name and information. But again, remember, you have to be able to come into the studio. And it'll be sometime Monday, uh, Tuesday through Thursday, sometime between 10 and noon that we'll ask you to come in. That's how you'll receive it. And, um, and that's when the reading will happen. And it looks like it will be in January. I think we're talking January for this. So Brian's picked up the phone. And we'll find out from Brian. Do we want to bring the person on air? now or not uh yes so we can i can tell her what it's for so brian if we could bring him or her i'll, on I'll here. go explain thank you benny thank you very much we're a little bit discombobulated here this is like you know <laughs> a very unusual experience i think you made history this is probably the first apportation on air live that ever happened i've not heard of it i have not heard before. of it either now, so I want history. I, to, I'm telling you, I, I'm just like, <laughs> I've just got to drink my water. <laughs> I would like people to understand that the individuals that are listening, that the primary focus of this object or any object that comes through is, is for healing. Mm -hmm. And healing is, is needed in a lot of different areas of our lives, mm -hmm. not just from an injury. Mm -hmm. You know, healing from uh, breakup from a love relationship or a missing of a loved one who passed away. You know, healing of someone that is is in their transition that are that are um, making their 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 passing mm -hmm. a healing there, mm -hmm. so they can take nothing but love with them. So these energies help you with that. It, it basically changes your life. Uh, I've watched this happen many, many times. Uh, sometimes it's subtle, the change, but most of the time it's pretty dramatic and, 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 and noticeable. So the masters would like me to make sure that everyone is aware that these objects are for um, healing and a connection to a message 
and so forth. So, and the beam went to Seattle, like I said earlier, and I'm assuming that this is a, a person from Seattle. I don't know. We're going to find out from Benny. Yeah, let's bring on Lori, actually, from Seattle. Lori, welcome to the show. Hi, Lori. Thank you. Hi. Where do you live? I live in Seattle in the north <laughs> end. <laughs> well, are you? Yep, we're kind of a. Yep, Michael, go yes. ahead. Um, hello, Lori. How you doing? My name's Michael. Hi, Michael. Pleasure to talk with you. Pleasure. Well, sure. the, it sounded amazing what went on there. The energy from this stone is going out the window uh, towards Seattle. So I was uh, was told by my master teacher. You actually teacher, pointed north. Yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. Um, uh, so that energy went into your heart. and I, I felt it. I, I felt just an urge to call long before, you know, when you first stated that. I felt the urge and... And then finally I called. So this energy, this object, uh, from what I was told by St. Germain, is, is a ruby. Um, I wasn't told a carat weight. It's very beautiful. It's, it's, got some, it's clear and some inclusions like a ruby would have. Also, um, the most important part, which is what I would really like you to focus on, is the healing energies that are in it uh, and the vibration, such as... Healing of your uh, internal organs uh, to help with strengthening and so forth of those organs. Help you through emotional uh, heart trauma. Also, some luck for the new year. Um, it's kind of like a nine lives scenario. You, you'll have a certain amount of luck through the year of 2012. Um, but it also is to help to bring... Uh, a positive relationship or strengthen a uh, present relationship that you're in. And that could be a family member, a friend, or even a love relationship. Wow. Sounds wonderful. It's very beautiful. Um, he's showing oh. it. Sam is showing it on the, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. on the camera On the camera that you can see online. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, I'm assuming, oh. are you driving? I am. Yeah, oh, don't, okay. don't, don't, don't look. look out. <laughs> you want, you want to tell her what does it Wait, I actually took a picture of it with my cell phone, and probably Benny will take a picture or whatever. But, um, and Lori, what, what that'll mean is we'll get, um, Brian will get your uh, contact information and so forth so we can schedule this when you can come into the studio and also receive um, a live uh, in studio reading with Michael. How, how does that sound? Also, what did you oh, want to say, Sam? I was going to tell uh, Michael if you would like to share the color red which represent Master yes, Jesus. Yes, what is the color red means. about that? Um, red is my favorite uh, yeah, color. Yeah, yeah, mine, mine too. And I'm it is connected red. to mm. my master teacher, yeah. which happens to be Lori's master teacher, mm. Master Jesus. Mm. Um, the ruby red ray is the energy to help with financial abundance. It's also uh, a connection to help healing the heart energies uh, as the, the muscles within the heart also, on, an, on another level, on an emotional level also, uh, emotional pain stresses the heart. So this helps strengthen that and help you get through those kind of things. The red energy is very, very important in our lives. It's also the rarest color that you'll see naturally in nature. Mm -hmm. And you can use that color in ceremonies also as, as an energy. As you command it for your life, for others. As mm -hmm. of, I command the ruby red ray to aggregate all good mm -hmm. in the material world for me now and so forth. Yes, and it's, it's just a beautiful, I can just see the energy uh, radiating from it. I yeah. think we all get a healing from this today. Well, mm -hmm. I, I know that, uh, yeah, there's no question mm. about it. I mean, I, I'm actually stunned about what happened, it, what, what's going on in my throat. Mm -hmm. That is very strange. <clears throat> Lori, what do, what do you think, Lori? Well, it sounds wonderful and beautiful and... Um, you know, I, I think it's definitely necessary for me in my life. I know I have a lot of, you know, when I have had people um, help me with energy healing, they've mentioned my heart, and um, and I, I definitely am looking at what's next for me in my life and, you know, in, in a lot of areas and what I'm doing next for, for work and, you know, where I'm going to be living and... and my relationship and so it's just a, a lot of healing I've, I've 
always, you know, recently I'm just in a total change. I don't know what's next. So this just really, mm. I think, will support me a lot. Well, I got I got to tell you, your your energy sounds absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. Thank you, Lori. Oh, Lori, hold on, you. hold on. I think Brian has to get some information from you. If you will please, Benny. Thank you. If you will please, uh, hold on. So let's uh, kind of talk about um, how this translates to what's going to happen uh, this coming weekend. The process is a little similar. The masters are going to use ectoplasm coming out of my body which will create a pool of energy on the floor of the of the of the space that we'll be in where they'll be able to materialize from that energy though they feel physically uh physical or present um there it's really ectoplasm that has hardened like when you're using the seance trumpet when a pseudopod is created with inside of the trumpet so the spirits can talk in this particular case, the spirit will talk direct voice, not using a pseudopod, which is the etheric voice box. With the apporting, which will also happen um, in, at the end of the evening, which is what we just did here on the air, uh, is also caused by ectoplasm in my body so that the silver energy can open up the vortex wherever it happens within my body. Um, because that there's the un uncomfortable feelings that are connected to it, they do it in this area where the tissue is, is not as uh, strong. Uh, I, had, I have stuff come out of my chest, recently a pretty good-sized silver Kuan Yin spoon from China. But there's more uh, uncomfortable feelings coming out of that part of the body than where the skin is not as, as tough. Um, there's a word for that, but I'm not thinking what that is right mm -hmm. now. So, so the process, what this is for, is to create uh, a connection to your master teachers to allow you to understand that you're not alone here on this world. Mm -hmm. That there is more beyond what our conscious eyes and physical eyes see. There's just a, so much more yeah. as this wonderful person Lori will see as her life unfolds after receiving this uh, object she should already start feeling it you could tell in her voice couldn't you yeah could, could you yeah. guys hear absolutely. it in her voice Definitely. her energy is absolutely you knew she beautiful. was the right person yeah and, and if I remember correctly I, I I believe one of the masters have a gift for you that day too mm. which when this came out I actually thought that was it but uh, I did too uh, but uh, I was I almost said it but someone told me no so. I actually didn't feel it was for me. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. I, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, I I, it, I didn't know who it was going to yeah. be for, but um, This is wow, for Lori. Amazing. I'm holding your stone, Lori. Hopefully you'll be able to make it to the studio. I've been apporting well, things Well, if not to the on. studio, I hope you can make it to the Saturday night event. Exactly. As well, all of you out there. Um, mm -hmm. And you've shared with me some of the things that have come through. I know you guys have spent a phenomenal time in Hawaii. We did. It, it was, it was a... a just amazing. I mean, Maui is a world all to itself. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. The people are beautiful. They open up their hearts, their minds, and some even their homes um, for us. And just a beautiful place. And, I, you know... We it's ma magical, Hawaii right. and Maui yeah. in particular, but, you know, I've had the same experience there. It, the energy is, it seems like the energy is already cleared, yeah. and there have been so many magical things Very and mystical spiritual. things happen uh, there as well. Yes, and one of the things that happened was St. Germain materialized uh, in one of the events and uh, transformed the, uh, the head of, a, of the temple that I was working at at the time. Uh, the Temple of Peace, and uh, his name was Kadar, and he got Saint Germain's hands on his head, and he 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 could at first initial reaction he thought it was my hands, but then as he started to realize and feel the energy, there's no way that it was me. The hands were bigger. And there was energy just radiating into his body. Mm -hmm. And it just transformed him. He's still, actually, I talked to him a few days ago. He's still not over the energy yet. He got initiated by Count Saint-Germain. 
Mm. He did. I've wonderful. been in class where a materialized master has picked up a, a, a student. And she wondered why. Physically picked her up. And she wondered why. And then later on, we find out that she had been in a car accident. And by the master picking her up, it adjusted her body so she experienced no more pain. Mm. Wow. Well, thank you all. Uh, I will uh, look forward to seeing you Saturday. I want to thank all of you out there for tuning us in and turning us on. Uh, For those of you that want to find out more about Michael, about the Ascension Foundation, you can go to the website, theascensionfoundation.com. Benny, thank you. You're going to be talking about this for a while. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know. I, I don't know how you're going to be going probably back the to best, your friends. Probably the best water, color, co- I water can't cooler wait. story today. I can't wait to your next <laughs> KKNW AM 1150 staff meeting. Oh, yes. Most definitely. I, I mean. Most definitely. They'll be I, can, I can't wait to you. You're in front of Schwartz <laughs> and Crema. And and now you got to witness that. Uh, I do. All right. Thank you guys for tuning us in. Thank you. Happy holidays, everyone. We'll see you next time on the Dr. Pat Show.